I've been crying. I've been fighting. Workers tell us they are still upset because they haven't been paid for work during the Super Bowl in Atlanta last month or earlier this month. And to make matters worse, a representative for the company that hired them didn't show up to speak with the temporary employees tonight. Uh, Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell joins us now with the very latest on this controversy that's been brewing since the big game. Marissa? Well, Sine and Russ, a former Atlanta City Councilor, insists the owners of BE Staffing Services told him they would attend tonight's town hall, but that did not happen. And the workers caught in the middle say they are just fed up with the back and forth. They want their money. I feel like you took advantage of us as workers. After weeks of protests, news conferences. Do not get paid what I was promised and for the hours that I worked, kind of a downer. And bombarding the BE staffing agency's office in College Park. The people who actually worked and did the fan experience, we didn't get paid. We basically got robbed. Dozens tell Fox 5 the NFL approved vendor that hired them to work the NFL experience hasn't paid them some, if not all, their money owed for labor. This right here is the schedule um, that I worked. Demiro Johnson refutes the company's response to Fox 5 that it did pay all of the workers based on sign-in sheets of hours worked. He and others insist the company promised to pay them one rate, then offered them a fraction of the amount when it came time to cut the checks. They showed us this flyer they say was posted by the company, promising $14 to $20 an hour depending on the position. Johnson says he hasn't received even half of what's owed to him. And as a result... I lost my vehicle. They are thieves that have stolen from you all. Former Atlanta City Councilor Derek Bozeman says he's retained an attorney for workers who haven't been paid. He also urges all of them to go to the Fulton County DA's office Tuesday. Some say they at least wanted to talk with a BE staffing representative face to face. If you truly said that, you know, you paid us, you know, I believe the quickest thing you could have did was come before us. Atlanta City Council President Felicia Moore is lending her support to those workers tonight. She says she sent a letter to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell today asking for his help in the matter. And you can read that letter for yourself on this story on Fox5Atlanta.com. Russ? Well, they did the work. They should be paid. Marissa, thanks. New video.